Alright, our spirit journey quest through the dungeon that may or may not delve into the history of all our characters, or maybe just the one guy, continues! And an elixir joins our inventory. I actually don't know how long to expect this place to be. It'd be kind of cool if we went on a weird, prolonged journey where we learned about all of our characters. But maybe that won't be what happens here. All I know is that I don't like the weird birds that keep showing up. So let's delete them. There we go. Bouncing attack. Oh. Without the momentum, it doesn't bounce the same way. Whoops. In this case, though, it's pretty straightforward just to melee them all real quick. There we go. Level- oh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, level up! Oh. <laughs> so close. Hello, multiple paths? Oh. Even more multiple paths. Well, we'll just press this button right away, because then I don't need to deal with it in the future. So the bottom path level- the bottom path opens up the left path, which makes me think the right path is, uh, oh. Yeah, dead end. Although in this case, it's a teleporter that probably doesn't work. Yep. That's what red things mean, usually. So it's straight up a red dungeon that doesn't work. I mean, red teleporter. Howdy, folks. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna extract the crap out of some of you. Don't know if I can make this hit multiple people, really. Oh, hey. That's nice. A little bit of follow-up just to finish that character off right here. And we can charge you. Just a little longer. Finish him off. And you didn't use your... You got some extra points so we can use you to just fill up real quick. There we go. And the enemy will be down. Party maintains some semblance of health. Level up. Nice. And we consumed four on, on prayer. Wow. So is that reflected at all? Let's go into my chronicles just to make sure that does exactly what I think it does, if I haven't checked yet. Flux bonuses. MP consumed. Amount consumed is further reduced. Yep. Yep. Doesn't even say anything about momentum necessarily. Like, I think this might just work just in general. But the ability... Nope, still says 20. So I'll have to check when the actual attack is triggered to see how effective it actually is at uh, redu uh, reducing its MP consumption. I'll have to do the math and see how it compares to the number 20. So we'll see. How many stacks are on it already? Is it 4 or 5? Nope, yeah. That's that's 4 stacks of MP consumed. I'm curious. They create a series of, of uh, outcoming uh, points, basically. They keep stacking out like it. This specifically says four now. Makes me wonder if there's like a specific number that is the cap of how many fluxes can be on every single Sprite Night, perhaps? Maybe, f maybe, maybe like five or something? How long that, how long is that string of circles gonna get? I got magic seal. Is that in here? Yeah. Makes enemy hit points visible. Yay! And gives you defense power. Not a bad thing to add to Niter. So I'm using him as a tanky type character. What's your new... Your Momentary defense, also good. Let's replace it with defense power. Try to figure out exactly what that means. Sounds like it might be a more long-standing thing than just uh, momentary defense. But we won't know for sure. And so we find ourselves on screen number three. Howdy, folks. Yeah, we got our extract ready. Uh, good target's probably this guy. The sooner the X crosses, the more damage it's supposed to do. Yep, that was effective. Alright, so I'm gonna use Prayer. And I'm gonna use it on Ed and Deer. I have 85 MP right now, let's see what it actually costs. 69. Okay. As opposed to, so it would've gone to the 65 normally. So, I guess every single stack of MP consumed reduction only reduces it by exactly 1 MP. It's so not as dramatic as you might hope, but the fact that it can stack so freely helps with that. Oh, you're paralyzed, so you can't do X-Strike. Alright. Dream Shatter. That's always fun. And I can pray for Eterna. Ah, uh, we should wait first. Instead, we'll go to the other character, who can't use anything but normal attack anymore. 
but that's more than enough. That wasn't an exact kill. So exact kill must be within a percentage then, because he had 110 hit points, I hit him for 120, and it gave me the exact kill bonus. Alright. I was wondering how the hell I was perfectly getting the exact damage so frequently, but if it doesn't have to be that exact, then that makes more sense. So there's enemies up here. Where's this go? There's a lot of past Enemies over there. Oh, save point. That ends in a dead end. Okay, I need to construct the bridge first. Uh, how are we doing on everything? Hit points are doing alright. MP is doing pretty alright. Uh, tents are practically free. I'll just use one. If I'm going to wake up at a save point for any reason, I'm going to want to just know that I am doing so with a decent little chunk of uh, hit points and everything. So I'll go left and then right. I would be surprised if I didn't have to use both, honestly. I would expect that I have to go down both paths and that'll trigger the, uh... Probably two parts of one continuous bridge. That was everybody! That was fantastic! When I was using it, I was kind of hoping that would be the outcome, but I wasn't really... ...expecting it to work out perfectly. Oh, well, fine. I'll hit you again if that makes you feel better. So many items. I'm still trying to vary my attacks a little bit, even though I X-Strike a lot. So I use a normal attack here and there, and attack with Setsuna here and there. Just to try to avoid completely using one attack constantly, because while that is effective, uh, it can affect the loot drops. There's stuff over there. Where does this go? Oh, more over here. Fight! Oh, this keeps, this keeps going. I might want to go back to the previous one. Uh, if I want to hit all, everyone at once, you may be the best... Ah, uh, which one's the best target? It might be this guy over here, honestly. But, nah. You're probably the best guy, huh? Yeah, it'll X out and maybe hit both birds. Yep. Wow, worked exactly how I hoped it would, actually. Uh, lightning? There you go. They're gonna try to eat him, so let's get rid of that first. There we go. And now we're clear. Uh, rude? There we go. I'm glad we could come to an understanding. Decent chunks of experience, dude, with so many items. Ooh. Lightning has MP consumption triggering. Setsuna is triggering MP consumption. I mean, uh, well, so that, yes, MP consumption, yes, but also just triggering flux bonuses like crazy. There's something about it that makes it especially likely or something? Tale of Fortune. It's called the Tale of Fortune. Maybe that allies itself with getting more. Or maybe it's her intelligence score? She and Kira have the highest intelligence scores. I kind of wonder if that somehow might have something to do with the trigger chance, but honestly, the intelligence seems to be pretty flat across the board for everyone except for Niter. Uh, their numbers are only range from 55 to 45, which is not much of a range. Yeah, you've got a lot of points here, but you got four here and a lot more there. <laughs> you still only have one. It's because I'm... I should probably start using more skills for this character, just because I keep using X-Strike, and that's not going to lead to a lot of triggers. Although, I'm not getting, uh... My supports aren't getting, uh, anything applied to them either. Let's review what yours is real quick. Aqua Heart, combo power. Yep, the flex bonus is, the, is what increases the power of, uh, combos, and I'm using combos right now, so it should be applicable. But it's not really applying to- how does- Compost is the part where multiple people use skills together, right? How does that- I wonder how that- I guess I have to use the corresponding skill? So if I want to charge up combo power, I probably want to use... That's- that's an elemental one. I'd want to use charge, because charge plus cyclone is how X-Strike happens. So if I use more of charge, then I think I could- trigger her combo power bonus, and that would lead to her getting more power from her combos, I guess? Like, our, our combos would become more powerful, I mean? There we go. Here's your charge chance. Come on, flex bonuses! Not this time. Oh, hey. Oh. I guess it's a shortcut back, but it's a shortcut back to a room that already had a hallway leading back to, so it's like not much of a shortcut. 
I guess if there's another shortcut directly below me, which there might be, then it'll be less of a- yeah, there's probably one down there too, so it'll be a straight path, but the fact that there's another hallway right next to it makes this, the short the shortcut feel a little redundant. A little bit. Oh, hey. I potion four. This was the end. I specifically didn't keep going down because I thought going down more was going to be going towards something new. Oh well. I will not proceed to apparently to not use the shortcut I just created. <laughs> we'll head over to the other side. I'll save first. There's no reason not to save. You never know when you'll encounter one of those very rare but altogether dangerous uh, rare spawn elite enemies. And I don't want to stumble into those and have to redo half an hour of dungeon for all I know. We And then you- oh, fight's over. Wow. We actually got all of them in the same hit. Oh, Cyclone. Well, well now we just learned that if you use a combo, you can have a flux trigger on the skill using the combo. So I don't need to use charge to make X-Strike more powerful, because apparently you can apply flux to a uh, charge without using it. Because we're applying this to Cyclone right now, which is an Endear's component of X-Strike. Critical power on top of having already unscathed power and, and momentum power. Yes. Yes, you. Yes, thank you, please. Uh. So is that, uh. Is he, is he, he's, up, he's up to like four now, isn't he? No? Oh, the other ones were up to three already. That was the one that was at two earlier. So he's just. He's just drowning in these upgrades. He's having a great time. Wait, is your. Oh, your MP's low because I was about to recover it and then immediately that happened. Hey guys, don't be- are you elites or anything? Whoa, you're- you are a crowd of enemies. Um, hang on a second. There we go. Just wanted to use prayer, in case this ends the fight early. I missed the- I missed it, didn't I? Crap. I completely missed my chance to, uh... There we go. T to momentum that. Whoa. Now that's some damage. I'll try to momentum uh, this time, I guess. Come on, and oh, just fill up sets now, real quick. There we go. Prayer. Let's try this again. Got it. Managed to mess it up last time. Uh, do I wait or just go for it? I mean, they don't have that much health. Yeah, I, I do way too much damage compared to how, how little health they have. Oh. Ow. Rude. Not appreciating that. Oh, well, if everyone's gonna level up, that simplifies the healing process, doesn't it? Uh, unscathed power on Cyclone. Wow, okay. All the upgrades for everyone that isn't Eterna. Yay! Take that, Eterna, and your luck-based nonsense. Alright. We got a new weapon just now. That's not, yep, once again, it's an upgrade of about 11 or 12 damage each time, which is a pretty big spike. And we're just finding them in the, in the dungeon them itself. Wonder if we'll find more... no item here? Huh. A dead end just for the sake of it. There we go. That's more what I was expecting. Oh, their backs are turned! What is... what is that little nightmare? I don't know what it... Whoa. It was immediately gone. Alright. When I saw a weird unit, I immediately thought, Oh, that's probably what something that's... A, a rare spawn that's gonna try to flee. It fled immediately. I didn't even have time to click on my... My skill. <laughs> and the, the menu literally pauses time, so that's impressive how fast it ran away. That's impressive. Look at all these items! So many items! I'd go insane if I tried to actually process what's on the, all these lists. <laughs> Here we go. I smell a boss fight. Once you double up the barriers and have like a long dramatic walkway after a save point, I think it's reasonable to expect a boss fight. Um, yeah, I should just rest. It's a tad wasteful, but like I said before, tents are pretty cheap. They're fairly cheap, and if there's a boss fight coming, I should just be ready for it. Alright, do I have food? Because I don't think I really do. I think I used my only one and haven't been to a town since. Yeah. Alright. We'll just have to face it. 
Uh, is this the crew I want? I probably want to bring my tank back in for this, especially since we can use our, our group skill anyway. Alright, Nidor and Endir. Alright, so she's on healing duty. The two of us can use the other, our other ability together. I forgot what it's called. Hang on a second. Blowback. Blowback. We can use blowback, and he can use tanking abilities along the way. And so on. That should work out. Or it's not a boss fight at all, for all I know. Oh, it's Reaper. Looks like this time it ain't no illusion. So here you are. Or, so you are here, I am surprised. However... This time, you will meet your deaths. This isn't good. His magical energy has increased tenfold since last time. I have finally grown accustomed to this body. I can release my true power. Uh-oh. If we get hit with that magic, then... Why? Why do you not run? You have no hope of victory. Do you not value your lives? You are humans, after all. Well, maybe we're a little different from the other humans you've met. This journey is our last hope. I won't let you get in our way. Damn, Eterna. <laughs> now! I almost feel bad for taking her out of the fight at that point. <laughs> Blowbeat has so many potential effects, damn. Go for it. Confusion and stun. Alright, that'll help us out a bit. Uh, should I wait for... Uh, let's wait for momentum for a moment. Ow. Not friendly, huh? There we go. There's momentum. Cure 2. You can go for... Is it Cleave, Shock, Cyclone... Physical, magical, damage, no special effects, or blow beat, but I don't want to do blow beat right next, I want to tank, so let's do cleave. Then the moment I get my momentum, there we go. Provoke. Attack this dude! Specifically. Oh, that looks dangerous. Ow, I'm standing next to this dude. Specifically. <laughs> uh, wait for a momentum. Come on. Uh-oh. Owie. You hurt when you attack with stuff. Stop it. Wait, I should wait one second. There we go. MP. I need that cure in a moment here, too. That is a powerful heal. <laughs> it's no small thing. Oh, can't use these ones. Oh, because we're low on energy. Um, I may want to just take care of that myself, rather than wait. Uh, I mean, we're doing okay on health. I can just wait a moment. Ow. Not appreciating that. They're standing close together, too, so it'll re even though it's, a, it's weak without the momentum, it'll, le it'll spread at least. Being a little bit more worth it. Come on, give me a little bit of, uh... There we go. Take this damage. There we go. It's continually weakening him, which is probably actively helpful in this situation, honestly. Especially since I can keep using a prayer over and over again to recover their energy so they can keep using it. That's proving effective. Waiting for that guy to get his MP is going to take a while, so let's do an attack. There we go. I did not... I I got some wires crossed in my head there. I did not mean to do what I did there, necessarily. Oops. So let's do a quick cure again. Oop, one second, there we go. My mistake is I, I meant to use an attack really quick, because I knew I was waiting for my other character, uh, Niter, to recover his MP. Uh, not his MP. His, uh, his momentum. But, uh, I meant to just do a normal attack without momentum, because I, I wanted to conserve my existing point. But, uh, he caught up pretty quickly. Let's go. The more I weaken him, the more this seems to help, honestly. 
I might want to switch to normal attack soon, though. Oh yeah, he's kind of low. Let's get ready for that. But next up, we should do a bit of prayer. Just make sure he can do anything he can. Let's see. He's not really doing physical attacks. Let's do aerial strike. There we go. Unleash what we got. Oh, one second. There we go. There's where the damage comes from. The two of them attacking independently do a decent chunk. More than Blowbeat, I think, does. Oh, we need to provoke again, I think. I think we need to provoke again. Keeping healthy. Alright. Don't have the energy for Blowbeat. Let's just attack him real quick. He's almost down. Oh, or we could miss. That's sweet. Good job. Provoke him again. Just because he's kind of getting off topic here in a way I don't appreciate. Cursed Slash. Yep, good thing he's focused on that character again. Come on, just a little more. Oh. I was about to recover MP, but maybe I should just attack him directly. He's so close. Let's just go for that. And I'll try to counter. Just because he's focusing on that character a lot, so if I can counter his next attack, we're generally safer. There's some damage. He's, I don't know if he's going to attack. Oh, there he goes. Oh, but he did it with magic instead of physical. Well, crap. I probably want him alive, because if he's down, he might not get experience. And I don't... Uh, last thing I'd want for him to do is miss experience. Ow. At this point, I'm just going to attack everybody. There we go. Is that it? Come on. We're so, we're so close here. Killing blow for, from Setsuna, of all people. Sure. Almost a thousand. Provoke and Cure 2 have been upgraded. Fantastic. Alright, Seymour has been defeated once again. We did it! Oh, there she goes. Eterna, hang in there! Who on earth is this girl? How is she able to demonstrate magical energy on par with his? Eterna, thank goodness. Don't be so dramatic, I'm fine. Come on, let's hurry up and get out of here. Yeah, I don't want to hang around here any longer than I gotta. Well then let's do just that. Any items around here? Nope. Boss fight usually means we're ready to leave. Hello. Anything stashed around? So Reaper definitely is filling the Seymour role of just being this ongoing pest, uh, ongoing problem that keeps attacking while we're trying to do our, our summon or sacrifice pilgrimage. So we're probably going to have to fend him up for a while. Are we coming back to the ruins I was at before, I wonder? Nope. Uh, whatever those other ruins were before, this is not related. I mean, it looks related physically, but I mean, like, it's not, a. Uh, we're not back at that location. I kind of wondered if the teleport, teleporting and wandering around would take us back to that spot or not. Can I go down there? Nope, that's an invisible wall. It looks so suspicious as, like, a walkway. They probably just didn't have a clean break between how they were animating cliffs and how they were animating, uh... The, uh, mountain the mountainsides. So there's like the cliff itself, and then the mountain just has to be a certain space away, so that doesn't clip off awkwardly. I see that other item up there too. I'm trying to keep an eye out. It's white on white on white on white, with shadows and even white clouds on top of that. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. Definitely a path. Oh, barren plains. This all seems to be a path. Interesting, you can't go there. There's nothing there. Huh. This is in the middle of nowhere, so it's probably just a thing. Maybe there's like one NPC hanging out somewhere? Maybe? There's one. I can feel the wind blowing here from fridging heights. It carries a faint magical energy. Only those with powerful magical energy can cross the mountain. I wonder what lies across it. 
So they there must be some reference to that that weird barrier then? Only someone powerful with energy, like does that have to be Eterna? Was the barrier there before when uh when Nider traveled to the lost lands? I guess he didn't get stranded the way we did. So maybe he he probably took a completely different path during his journey than we're doing right now. Yep, there's that uh there's that bubble again. Well, this town's at a dead end, and the bubble's right next door again, so... Seeing as we've gone seemingly around this entire bubble now, uh... The second town's probably going to give us some sort of insight on how to get inside. Unless they have an airship. <laughs> Alright, what's your deal, town? Well, I never. Come here through the blizzard, have you? Ah. I knew it'd be cooler here, but... I didn't think it'd be, it was gonna be this bad. Oh! Jeez. Julian. Young lady, are you? Maybe she needs a rest after what happened to her before. There is no cause for alarm. I am merely somewhat fatigued. Are you two from this town? We're on a journey. A journey? We're on Earth too. We're headed to the Last Lands. How far are they from here? Last Lands, huh? They're on the other side of the Fridging Heights. But you'd be best off forgetting that idea if you value your life. Really? You're gonna warn us away from being in danger when we're on the sacrifices mission? Uh, that mountain can be no longer crossed. What do you mean? You'll have seen them during your journey, no doubt. The distortions in space, we call them black holes. Like black holes? Around these parts. They're sp uh, especially bad in the mountains near here, you see? Is there, is there no other route? I did once uh, know of a cave that led through the mountain. It's gone now, is it? No, I said I once knew of it. For some reason, I can no longer remember it. It's probably that weird little dead end I looked at earlier. So you forgot where it was? I do not know. I shouldn't I should I shouldn't think you're gonna believe this, but a memory that should be there isn't. It's almost like that uh like the perception the perception field that was used in Doctor Who at one point, so that somebody could live in somebody else's house without that person ever noticing that they were there. Because you just never observe something, like it's constantly being blocked. It's probably that kind of weird magic. Memory that should be there isn't. A cave that led through the mountain definitely did exist. That much is certain. But how can you know that for certain if you can't remember? Many folks in this town say the exact same thing as me. Folks who've lived here for a very long time. If you think that nothing more than a coincidence, well, that's up to you. If it's somewhere near here, why don't we try looking for it? You say it definitely existed. Maybe we'd find it. You shall do no such thing. There shall be no need this prying. Why? Ah! Phew! Don't scare me like that, old lady. Some things are best left unchanged. Not that you are capable of changing them anyway. Okay, so you're just behind all of this, apparently? Because you're being incredibly suspicious. Nope, oh, bye. Come on, let's get a move on. If no one knows where this path is, our only option is to try to find a way across ourselves. We don't have time to wait for this blizzard to stop, or for the distortions to disappear. Our journey must go on. Exactly! Eterna's right! Let's find a way to cross the Fridging Heights by ourselves! Probably just gonna go find that, that, uh... We're probably just gonna go find the, uh... That cave, honestly. This crazy old lady's hiding things from us. She's probably a monster that's cr that secretly hid the whole thing in the first place, or... Maybe not a monster, but she probably is the, is the reason why people don't remember the cave in the first place, which is... Concerning. I guess we'll find out why, probably.